kind of be like, hey, it's so fancy. Cinnamide and zinc. I've been using those ones almost a year since I got this product. Alexa, what's the time? Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. Good morning, guys. Who else is excited for 2024? I don't know about you, but um, today I feel so excited for 2024. I don't understand why. In case I'm wondering why I'm looking so fine this morning, I just finished filming the video. Like I was saying, I'm so excited for 2024. I don't know why. If Jesus tarries, I have this feeling like 2024 is going to be such a good year. I am prophesying goodness into 2024 for everybody watching this video and also for myself because I feel like it's the year where we're going to have we're going to see the hand of god work mightily in our life in 2024 and right now the, the kind of confidence that i have in god eh, i'm even getting scared it's scaring me myself because when you start your work with god the devil tries to bring his own things to try to knock you and to knock you and to bring so many things your way it's unavoidable i mean the pathway to heaven is very narrow and filled with so many things that will come your way i listened to a preaching um by prophet nana sayo and like it's just gingering me up our last prayer session last night i was like whoa something happened things have shifted in the room i could literally feel it it's such an amazing feeling i don't know how to explain it so i've taken this feeling upon myself and i'm just saying that 2023 is going to be it's going to be full of god's glory and once god is on our side we are fighting from a victorious end let me just put it out there. I have not asked you, how are you guys doing? What's up? This room is my filming space, my working space, my everything. And I am um, in that phase again where I don't like it again. <laughs> I want to do something here. This thing is, I don't know if it's an, if it's a, it's a personality something. Like it always has to, like things always have to change for me. When I use it for a period of time, I get tired and I want something else. I want something different. I try the cinematic type of filming with the lighting and do, I don't know I don't know how um, my audience or how you guys are going to take it but it looked very nice and I've come into this room now and I'm using natural light I literally I'm sitting behind the window and I'm using it to film my videos I want to do something different to this place I want to you see the wall you see the top is like cream and then the down is this cream is not even cream we're supposed to be white I don't know what's this about the wall in this room it's supposed to be white so what i thought it was supposed to be white but it looks like cream and then the the base this one is like brown i want to repaint everything to white i just want it white and then do something about my background um yeah do something about my, about my background and then my sitting position and everything i really want to do something um to change up stuff i'll be doing it little by little here and there and then eventually when i do like a total change I'll let you guys see but you guys look i have something to show you um when i did my makeup today i'm not wearing lashes i'm just wearing a mascara hmm, what's this on my lips? and if you're somebody who wears mascara you know that when the mascara doesn't dry it's going to smudge on your eye and what normally happens that anytime i wear the mascara and then i have to go inside under the fan and be like this and the fan to like five ten minutes for the fan to dry whatever it is but it doesn't it doesn't even dry sometimes i'll be there for minutes and i come back and then i just blink and then i get that smudge so when i finish the makeup today my mind just went back to you know those um videos we see on instagram where you know the wedding guest working out with her fan you know those fans i'll be like hey it's so fancy but then i was like ah it's the same thing i also need something to dry my uh, my mascara because i don't want it to smudge then i remembered that i have an eyelash fan when i went for my eyelash classes i've done so many classes at this point but I know that one day is going to benefit me. So I remember that I had this one. So I went to take it and then I had already applied the mascara. So I'm walking down the steps like this so that then the eyelash will not start. And I took this one and I just turned it on. It has hand here. It is on now. So I just put it on my like like this for a few minutes. So as it was drying the mascara, it was also drying whatever is going on around my face. And see no smudge no mascara smudge and i'm so happy so this is a beauty tip when you might not necessarily get this particular one this is an eyelash fan it's sold by those who sell um 
beauty supplies, eyelash, eyelash technique, eyelash making kits and stuff. But if you go to like an ordinary um, beauty shop, they would have those fans. If I have, if I see, I'll put a picture of it over there. You can have those fans and then have it on. It's when you wear a mascara or you do your like simple makeup, then you can just use this to dry your mascara up. Like, it's but anyway, let's just go and edit the video and I'll talk to you guys later. one eternity later it's been a number of days now like three days or even four days since that last clip i'm back in my story because i'm about to let me reduce the fan it's like it's very loud it's been a while since i put like sewing clips on my channel so i decided to just do that today i'm sewing a kimono jacket for myself and i will just put like pictures here and there or videos like I make a reel out of the finished product and then put it on my uh, my business page which has been dormant for almost a month now <laughs> anyway i'll put it there and then just you know just for content and in case somebody wants to buy something can buy this weekend i had to do with a, a potential customer like um i want these kimonos but i'm not gonna pay before you make it the person wants me to make the thing and then send over to her before she pays like it doesn't make sense you want me to work for you but you don't want to pay you want to receive the thing first before you pay because you've been scammed before isn't that we we have not been scammed before we have been scammed several times and you are trying to protect your interest i also have to protect my interest first of all the person i'm chatting with there's no picture on dbt even see whether i'm talking to a person or not and secondly your number is not even a Ghanaian number that is chat with me like these two things alone are, are questions are red flags on its own i want me to work on product and then send over to you before you pay me like it just doesn't it doesn't work i'm not amazon i'm not even amazon said you have to put your card details you have to pay before you get a thing but why is it that you guys when it comes to local um businesses you are just even i didn't thank god because after i re after i sat down i realized that i actually undercharged her so it's a blessing in disguise thank god she didn't come through anyway guys skincare updates do you people know this this is the um revolution retinol serum which is supposed to expire in december because it's been i supposed to stop using this after 12 months and it just dawned on me that it's already been a year almost a year since i got this product but this is where it is now we should tell you that i don't use it often I, I like retinol, but this particular retinol is not doing well with my skin. This particular revolution retinol is not doing well with my skin. Typical retinol products for me by now, I should be almost done. But this one, I use it most of the time in the evening. And I know that anytime I, I'm done using it, when I wake up in the morning, my face looks old. My skin looks so saggy. My skin doesn't look happy. My skin looks not good and i know that yeah when you use uh, an active product like retinol sometimes there'll be some you know some um reactions i'm trying to find the right word for it there'll be some yeah when i find the right word, i'll put it on the screen but there'll be some reaction or something for a couple of days and then this one is going to clear but this one has not been clearing i've been keeping it on my face for i've been using it day and night but mostly at night I'm giving it a period, but I'm not seeing any improvement, so I had to stop using it because I don't like how I wake up in the morning, my face is literally my face looks old, my face looks so tired, my skin doesn't look happy, it looks like 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 wrinkled, saggy. It was a whole thing altogether. So the evolution retinol really does not it's not doing it for me but i love their vitamin c radiance serum and also their niacinamide and zinc i've been using those ones like back to back and i know it's be done in december so hopefully by then i might not get the same revolution but i'll definitely do a repurchase but the retinol nah i want to try that um snail mucin essence thing the course 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 when i get picture i put over there i want to try that one my next uh, major skincare uh, purchase that is what I want to try. Anyway, I want to do a bubu, a bubu dress with these two fabrics. So this Ankara, you know that bubu kaftan dress. I put a picture. Bubu kaftan dress with the built-up color thing. I want to use this to sew it for myself. There is a service that I want to attend, 
and I just want something free and comfortable that I can wear. So I'm going to be using these two fabrics to sew that bubu kaftan dress. But I'm using chiffon and sewing my kimono right now. I'm having a prayer meeting in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to just try and then finish cutting what I need to cut. And then when the prayer meeting comes on, I'll just pause, go and join the prayer meeting. When we are done, it's fine. Ah, when we are done, I'll come back and continue. And then I will start working on um, lunch. So... Let's go and sew. I mean, the kimono jacket. It took me like an hour to make. It would have taken me. It took me about an hour and thirty minutes to make. It would have taken me max one hour to make, if not for my prayer meeting and some other stuff I was doing around. I'm going to be taking this to the tailors for them to go and weave the rough edges around it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. Forgive me if I already mentioned it, but I don't know. Um, I saw this because of an event, a program that we are having this particular weekend. I actually took some fabrics to the tailor to go and sew but then when I found out about some activities going to be going on there I realized that what I took there I cannot wear it, so I have to wear um, more like jeans active wear stuff so I just did this kimono so a yeah, kimono I just did this kimono so that I can wear it on top of like a tank top and then the jeans and then some sneakers I don't have a weaving machine in the house so if I had that one there's no need for me to take it to the tailor but I don't have it so when I need to weave my clothes, I just take it to the tailor for them to do the weaving and overlocking and all that. I can't wait to wear this dress, honestly. So I'm going to start working on lunch right now and figure out what I'm going to make for supper this evening. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew I did some Indomie Jollof. I used um, leather stew. And when I was done, I fried some fried, I fried some egg on it. So it's liver Indomie Jollof with okay, fried basically egg. like eating noodles with um, leather stew and then adding some egg to it. So I'm going to be folding some laundry right now before the children get home. It's like two o'clock or so. Alexa, what's the time? The time is 2 p.m. 2 or 2 p.m. My kids will be home in an hour and a half, an hour and a half. So I have enough time to finish folding the bed sheets and then the rest. I have more laundry. Let me show you. This is also more bed sheet that I need to fold. These are our clothes and some other stuff. And you guys, I want to show you. You see this basket here? I got it from Melcom. I think um two or three days ago and i've made it my children's kids storage basket wait st okay <laughs> kids storage basket i'm not storing my children i'm storing my their toys so this is their toy basket they store most of their toys we did a lot of um toy reorganization we threw away a lot of toys 
that they are no longer using and they have their spots so we put them here we also got this drum too from Malcolm from this was like the last drum that we got I also have this um, blocks building blocks thing they have this and they have more blocks they wanted more blocks I said we have enough blocks in the house I'm tired of falling over blocks so yeah this basket is not actually what I wanted there's another one that I wanted but the price was not inviting me so I put it down and I picked this one but uh, maybe later on i'll change it and then get a different ones what usually happens is that when um the kids are done playing i just say pack your toys into the toy basket and they carry everything and then put it into their toy basket even though Ogadu do Ogadu is a little you have to literally pamper him to pack the mess that he has made <laughs> but eventually sometimes he packs them um but nelly is such a wonderful helping hand he will just you know pack the things even though he'll be like dude that's the one to help me <laughs> But he also do it because Nelly is Nelly likes order. He likes things neat in a correct way. That thing I know he took it from me. So yeah. Anyway, so when they are done with their toys, they just pack it into their toy basket, and then I don't have toys running around the place, and it's just easy to know exactly where their toys are instead of you know turning the whole house upside down just to find somebody's ambulance. Anyway, I'm coming to pack the bed sheets now. There are lots of them, but hopefully I'll be able to finish before the children come home because. I want to have like 30 minutes to myself just sit down maybe go through youtube or just think about life before they get to the house so let's get to um folding these things Yes, give me some nice color if you like <laughs> anyway i'm done now i hope you guys enjoy that is this is typically a day in my life um laundry is usually from the beginning of the week monday tuesday wednesday i do a lot of laundry and folding stuff and all that hey my shoulder i also do a lot of other stuff but i try not to work too much on mondays because i work a lot over the weekend especially with the children the entire family so mondays i don't really do much in the house on mondays so i usually pack a lot of my chores to tuesdays and then wednesdays tomorrow when the sun comes out i'll hang the rest of the bed sheets and then our clothes and so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you know what to do already give me a massive thumbs up if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you all in my next video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you all later thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye bye